Hi, and welcome to another Three String Cigar Box Guitar Lesson. Uh, I'm Sean from Coda Guitar, and uh, what we're going to be doing in this uh, next series of videos is looking at some blues shorts. So uh, we're basically just focusing on um, some uh, sp very really useful, lots like, specific uh, technical areas uh, in each video. Um, not really like a proper song, just like short little um, exercises. Uh, they sound great to play, but um, uh, it's the sort of thing that um, if you were, say, going for weekly lessons uh, with a guitar teacher, um, you'd be maybe given a song or an exercise to practice to nail uh, for the next lesson uh, which will sort of benefit your general playing and uh, you can add them all up at the end in combination and hopefully it will give you some really good um, sort of tools um, to be able to tackle uh, more complicated songs. So I'd say um, we're probably looking at more sort of beginner level uh, or maybe beginner intermediate level. So uh, hopefully this will be uh, good for those of you out there who found some of the, the, the uh, previous videos a little bit tricky, like some of the sort of Robert Johnson songs and things like that. So uh, we're going to be looking entirely at using a slide um, for these lessons. I'll probably do another series of shorts just for fretted, but um, this is all for slide playing. Uh, so before we crack on with this one, should we just check if we're in tune? So we've got low G, middle D, and high G. Uh, so this first lesson, um, we're probably looking at just a general bit of uh, coordination here. Um, uh, so the, the thumb is going to be sort of thumping away on the beat as we've been doing with a lot of the stuff and uh, the fingers are either going to be playing with um, the thumb or in between and um, we've just got some sort of simple simple riffs that we're playing with our slide hand. Um, now some people have said in the comment sections that uh, they've been finding it difficult to know exactly when to, to like switch between index and middle fingers with the plucking so uh, what we're going to do here is do a lot of um, like playing together at the same time so sometimes that can be like called a brush um, and if you play with your thumb and a finger or both fingers that's often uh, called a pull um, so we'll be doing plenty of that and um, the, the first right hand picking pattern is basically uh, two pulls so uh, your thumbs always like one two three four and we're going to be playing with that on the first two and then it's a thumb and in between with their fingers and another thumb so hopefully that should be reasonably straightforward you've just got to get a nice rhythmical flow to it so it's pull pull thumb fingers thumb Pull, pull, thumb, fingers, thumb. Pull, pull, thumb, fingers, thumb. All right, so uh, that's going to uh, keep going for the first two um, bars. So uh, we've got, in the first bar, we've got um, keeping this low G open all the way through and covering uh, the top two strings with the slide um, at fret three. So that's pull, and then onto the open, and then thumb, open, in between. So the first bar, you've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four. And then in the second bar, uh, same rhythm, but we're going to play fret 5 on, on the uh, uh, top two strings, and then 3. So you can pluck that. We're going to re-pluck at fret 3, uh, but you can slide down to it. It gives it quite a nice effect. Open. Okay, so both, both bars are 1, 2, 3. So probably loop around that and um, just get get that under your fingers. Um, it, it is quite simple. So really to, to get a, a really good sort of character to it, you've got to make sure you play it in time. So uh, re really try, try and get your thumb going at like a steady 
pace all the way through. Uh, slowly to start with, I'll, I'll probably like do some tempos at the end of this just to give you an idea of how to practice. Um, bar three is the same as bar one. And bar four, we're just going up to fret seven. Now, it's probably gonna sound better Sound, sounds alright, um, having the open G still ringing through, but it's slightly vague sounding, it's probably stronger to, to, to cover like all three strings um, with the bar there, so uh, this is the only time I'm, I'm going to be um, covering the, the low G as well. So that's pull, thumb, thumb, and uh, you, you can still like pull, pull with two fingers there if you want, um, or you can just use your middle finger on... The high G. So that would be pull, thumb, thumb, middle, thumb. So if I just do bars three and four one more time, so it's pull, pull, thumb, fingers, thumb, straight up, two, three, and four. Do that again. Uh, so it's quite simple this, um, so what, what you could do is, uh, just to give it a bit more interest, I, I just slid into uh, fret 7, uh, just makes it sound a bit more musical, so uh, you could start from fret 5 and as soon as you pluck, you're on the way up, so you don't really hear the sound of the note from fret 5, it's, it's more a, uh, just a sort of gentle slide into 7 and that, that's where uh, we, we, we come to a rest, so that, that's, that's the note we hear. <clears throat> so. Uh, that's that's the main cycle. Um, so let's try that from the beginning. So two, three, four, bar one, pull, pull, thumb, pull, pull, three, four, bar three, and then bar four. Okay, I'm going to cycle that to back to three. Three, four, bar two, and then up to seven. So uh, that that speed's probably quite good um, to start with. I mean, it's it's really sort of plodding, really walking through quite slowly, but um, <clears throat> it's going to mean that uh, you, you're sort of in control of what you're doing, so you, you don't want to go too quickly to start with. Uh, I'll, I'll go through some tempos at the end, um, but um, the second half uh, has, uh, it, it's another four bars, but um, the, uh, the, the first two bars of this second half are actually the same as the first two bars, so... So it's only actually the, the ending, the very ending that's different. And uh, what, what we're doing here is we're just playing a single string melody. So I'm on uh, string one. So that's starting on fret seven and it's just a slide down to fret five. So I'm not actually gonna re-pick uh, fret five. But then I will re-pick fret three and the open high G string, string one. Seven, slide, re-pick three. Okay. Now, um, how those notes sort of fit rhythmically, we've got, again, the thumb just on the beat. So um, we've got one, two, and three, four. So that is a slide down, so it's a pull, thumb, and then the third is in between, so that's played on its own with, uh, I'm just using middle finger for the, this top string, and then the open, the two open G's are together at the end. So we've got a pull, for fret seven, slide down, thumb, three in between, thumb again, open, a tiny bit faster, we've got, and 
And then just to finish off, I'm going back to playing um, pairs of notes with me slide, and I'm right up on fret 10. And uh, pretty simple. Uh, so that's a, a pull, like all, all three th strings being played at once. Thumb. 12, so you can sort of slide into that. If you can keep the, uh, the notes ringing through. So that's, that's quite easy, it's, it's just the previous bar that's probably more difficult. Um, so if I just do the, um, so this is like the, the, the second off last bar, so just with the single notes on the top string. So I'll just do this from a couple of angles. So we've got and then all right. And let's just try that from another angle. So three, four. So um, the last four bars, um, again, the, the, the first two are the same as what we did at the beginning. Uh, so we'll try all that. So two, three, four. And again, two, three, four. Okay. Um, so <clears throat> there's um Depending on how much experience you've got, um, we have got a, like an older video. Um, if you go to our Code of Tuition um, YouTube channel, and if you search through the videos, um, so from about 18 months ago, there's, uh, there's a really good lesson just for like beginner um, picking, which is just looking at um, different patterns that you can, you can use with your right hand. So if you want to like complement this one, that's really good to go through. There's also a really good one on, uh, on slide technique, um, just the basic, um, you know, just how to get a decent sound out of it. Uh, what I'm sometimes doing actually is I'm, I'm like resting. So uh, you can use different fingers. I do use um, the slide on different fingers depending on like what song I'm playing because um, some of the, the, the previous like actual blues tunes that I did, um, it, it was necessary to use the slide say on the second finger or even sometimes on the little finger. But um, uh, third finger feels nice and comfortable. So I'm just using this here and I'm actually resting behind just to tidy up the sound because if I say play fret 7 I've got those notes um, they're very quiet but it almost makes a little echo um, but it can just sound a bit stronger if we dampen them so if I rest with my first finger just like that then um, we can't we can't really hear them very clearly. Like what I'm doing there is I'm plucking the strings, but what, what we're actually hearing coming through is these notes from this side. So it, we, we, we just get a slightly, slightly stronger sound. It's just, um, it's, it's a bit more echoey that way. Um, so uh, if, if you want a really nice sort of positive, um, tone, it, it can be quite good to, to, to rest with that finger. Um, also, you, you want to be keeping um, like parallel with the frets as much as possible, and also um, really listen for the um, what you call the intonation, how how in tune, like how correct the pitches of, of each of these notes, because uh, it's very easy to be just slightly out you know we're talking about like millimeters either way of, of the correct pitch like bang on top of the fret itself um, and, and if, if you're slightly high or low it just it sounds a little bit rough so, so you always want to be listening it's very easy to correct because you just move, move up and down accordingly but you've always got to keep using your ears um, and I mean for, finally the, the, the slide lesson went into this in a bit more detail but the, the, the idea of um, vibrato uh, adds a really nice sort of musical quality um, 
to your playing and uh, it's it's like a sort of oscillation almost sounds like a you know sort of waveform effect and you, you're just moving you've, you've got your correct pitch over the fret but you're just moving side to side um, but you're trying to do that um, in, in time with the music so um, what what you're effectively doing is um, if you say playing at this sort of speed yeah da, 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 da. Uh, my my slide is sort of moving at a, like a faster tempo um, um, sort of fa faster note division over the top so if that's my pulse maybe I'll be playing that sort of speed over the top um, or like moving at that sort of speed with the slide and um, it, it, it's difficult to, to pick out exactly what the tempo is because we move we're kind of like oscillating up and down but um, uh, you, you get into a feel for it and um, if, if you, you move this sort of at what feels like a nice easy natural um, speed with the vibrato it, it just sort of slots nicely into the groove uh, at which you play him. Um, I'm actually making the movement sort of from my elbow there if you can if you can see that um, as, as opposed to I'm, I'm not trying to like use my wrist it, it's like a whole sort of forearm movement um, I mean that's that's something that needs a bit of practice um, it's a bit like if you're string bending on a like a normal six string guitar um, it, it, it needs a bit of practice to sort of get the pitch right or, or and and so um, I'd probably do that separately uh, or add this in after you've actually learned the main riff so uh, take take your time learn the riff and then uh, you, you can sort of add add all of these different elements in on top um, if when you're a bit more comfortable um, and you've, you've kind of got all of the sequence down uh, you, you can then think about the sort of more musical um, kind of layers to put in on top and that's um, that that'll straight away make, make it sound much more like a proper piece of music so uh, I've just um, had a quick check of some tempos um, just on my metronome and so if, if you wanted to play this on your own um, what what I often um, end up doing if people you know sort of beginner level not been playing for that long uh, 70 BPM uh, is, is quite a good speed for you to be playing at um, it, it does feel very slow but um, it's going to be um, it's just going to allow you to sort of control it and uh, give you enough thinking time so you, you, you're not getting lost halfway through um, so I'm just going to do a full play along roughly at that speed and then um, if you're able to get hold of a metronome like I said have, have a search on YouTube either for drum beats or metronome and, and see if you can find them at different tempos if you uh, BPM beats per minute uh, that's what you're going to be searching for so if you search for like metronome 70 BPM or drum beat 70 bpm and then try and find like subsequent um speeds up from there maybe go up in like sort of 10 uh, bpm um, increments so i think this is probably about 70 so it's quite slow so we'll try the whole lot one two three four bar two bar three and then up to seven right I'm not repeating that carrying straight on then So you could potentially like rewind this and try that again, uh, and then you know potentially try it at slightly faster tempos. We can do that. I'll just do this once a little bit quicker. So three, four. Okay, so uh, I hope that was useful. Uh, what we're going to be looking at in um, the next four um, sort of blues short uh, videos is um, different uh, picking patterns. Uh, we're, we're still playing some fretted notes with the slide, but we're sort of focusing on picking patterns. Uh, we're also looking at hammer-ons and pull-offs uh, with the slide. 
um, mm. how you can use those in different combinations, um, how to switch between a straight sort of driving rhythms, this this was a straight rhythm by the way this one, and uh, swung or blues shuffle rhythms um, which give you a more sort of gentle sound and, and loads and loads of blues tunes use um, shuffle rhythms. And then the last one um, is looking at uh, sort of bringing all of these elements together um, in a slightly more complicated pattern and also getting your slide angle in uh, so that you can play on the middle string, sort of isolate the middle string with your slide and not catch, catch string one so that you can actually change your slide angle a little bit. And uh, that's about it. So uh, if you go away and learn this, um, hope it's useful. And uh, come back and we'll see you again in a few days for the next uh, Blue Short. And uh, please subscribe to the channel if, uh, if you like this content. And uh, we're going to be dropping loads more uh, throughout the rest of this year.